Harry's wife. The one hour work week. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. How many hours a week do you work? 37 and a half? 40? 50? 60 hours? More? The number of hours that people work a week very much does vary. Some people are paid by the hour, and therefore have a fixed amount, and then, of course, get overtime on an hourly basis, time and a half, double time. Other people are salaried, and it's a matter for them as to whether they want to put in that extra time to get the job done, seem to be willing so that they perhaps could secure a promotion by working additional hours, even though they don't receive any additional payment. But what is safe to say is that, for most people, there's a rough 40-hour working week for many people. There are many people, of course, that work even longer hours, particularly those establishing businesses, those that want to reap the reward of their own endeavours. And then there are people that have reduced their hours as they perhaps embrace semi-retirement or are effectively retired, but they still want to do something here and there to prevent themselves becoming bored. They've spent 30, maybe 40 years working, and now they've decided that they're going to take things easier, but they still want to keep their hand in. They still want to have something which keeps their interest. They want to pass on their skills, perhaps. They don't want to spend all of their time sat around watching daytime television so that their brains rot. But what about Harry and Harry's wife? Well, recent tax information has been lodged and more about the money side of that in a separate video. But the document that has been lodged with the IRS in the United States is a, uh, provides information about the money but also explains that Harry and Harry's wife worked one hour each a week at the foundation. 52 hours a week. The Daily Mail reports that this is similar to one week's full-time work, which then begs the question how the couple have been spending their time when Archul was said to have been their main focus. Of course, it's hardly a surprise that Harry's wife and Harry don't spend much time on the work side of things. He has had a life of privilege where basically he's told what to do and where to go, and she's intrinsically lazy. The only things that interest her, of course, are making money, and subconsciously, of course, the assertion of control and the drawing of fuel. But when it comes to actually putting in some graft, she wants to get away with doing as little as possible for the maximum return. Accordingly, it doesn't come as a surprise to find that Harry and Harry's wife only put in an hour a week with Archwell. And what on earth does that actually achieve? Presumably they issue some instructions, probably what is it, a Monday morning meeting where she jumps on a yet another Zoom meeting, listens to the CEO tell her this, this, this and this, and she goes, do this, do that, do the other, make me look good. Thank you very much. I'm now off to bake some banana bread. Or I'm now going to go and speak to the chickens for authenticity. Or perhaps it's time for her to pull out the Sharpie and indulge in the creation of some more bananas of empowerment. But whatever else she's doing, she's not spending time involved with Archwell. Now, there's a possibility, I suppose, that she spends more time involved with it and just states on the relevant documentation that she only spends an hour a week. But it is no surprise to find that she won't spend much time involved in the organisation because it actually necessitates her undertaking some work. And that's not something that she's particularly bothered about. Instead, she just wants to flounce around. She wants to be seen. She wants to be viewed as the Empress of Woke. And of course, we see with the way that she bandwagons that she's not somebody who can ever commit herself to really putting a shoulder to it, rolling up her sleeves and getting in amongst the hard work. We've noticed the way that she pays lip service to something and then drifts onto the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing. That she's never involved in doing something with any material application. 
It comes therefore as no surprise whatsoever to find that she's not involved in doing much at all with Archwell. But it then begs a question, what on earth is she doing the rest of the time? It's not like she has any other business to run. We keep being told that the TIG is going to reappear, but it hasn't so far, and she's not running that. She's not doing any acting. She has staff and nannies, so it's not like she's on her knees with a toothbrush scrubbing around the toilet. Besides, she'd make Harry do that. And with the children, well, depending on what you think there with regard to those children, they're either not there, so there's nothing to do, or when they are there, the nannies pick up the slack. So she has minimal involvement with them also. What is she doing? Lying around in bed all day? Staring at herself in the mirror? Trying to be a foodie and failing? Maybe she's spending all day trying on clothing, thinking she looks fantastic, carrying out her own fashion show. But what she's not doing is engaging in anything meaningful work-wise. She creates a foundation with Harry and then dedicates an hour a week to it. It's hardly any wonder that it's not a success. More of that in a separate video. Instead, what we have is an individual that demonstrates once again her sense of entitlement by creating an organisation, banging on about how brilliant it is, telling the world that it's what it's there for, telling the world all about its supposed achievements, saying that the Archwell Foundation believes that compassion is the defining cultural force of the 21st century, and through its work, Archwell Foundation supports a growing community of partner organisations fueling systemic cultural change. Ugh. Word salad. Archwell Foundation listens to people in their communities. How? The office is only manned an hour a week. What happens when you ring up the rest of the time? <laughs> We're sorry, we're not here. I'm busy roasting a chicken with Harry. Well, perhaps it's the staff that get involved. Well, not so. Because according to the information, the CEO doesn't spend a lot of time working. The CEO is James Holt. And according to the documentation, he also works an hour a week and receives a salary of $59,846 and $3,832 in other benefits. Meaning that he's earning $1,224 an hour. Nice work if you can get it. So what does Archwell actually do? The CEO works an hour a week. Its founders only work an hour a week. Are there other people? Are they the ones that are doing all the graft? Well, it's interesting because the information that comes to light from the finances suggests that the Archwell Foundation doesn't do very much at all. And as I've explained to you in parts passing, a lot of what it does is it partners with other people and basically puts its name to the work of other people and commandeers that. So it doesn't seem like it really does much at all, which is very apt indeed for Harry's wife, because she doesn't do very much at all either, as a consequence of the entitled nature of her narcissism. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.